Hello everyone, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin come to you live via webcam from my parody entertainment show and George Zimmerman is making my show today along with Trayvon Martin. There's a big crew of people on my show today and uh, George Zimmerman uh, has passed a polygraph test given administered by the police and uh, he, he passed a polygraph test and he they asked him did you shoot Trayvon Martin in self-defense he said yes the polygraph said he's telling the truth and he said was Trayvon Martin attacking him first and he said yes and polygraph test he says he's telling the truth and um, a different image of Trayvon Martin has emerged that um, he had gold member teeth, gold member teeth, and um, you can type this in on the internet, gang, gang member teeth picture, and uh, on, I think it's the second one, come, come down to second or third one, you'll see a picture of Trayvon Martin. He had gang member teeth, and uh, just type in gang member teeth picture and uh, that's all I typed in. I wanted to see what other people thought gang member teeth was and it's a picture of Trayvon Martin. And uh, now you're going to hear the rest of the story after I tell you my disclaimer. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and everything in my parody entertainment show is a parody. Do not take anything I say seriously. Do not take anything I say personally. Do not try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. And everything in my parody entertainment show is science fiction. It's all fictional. It's all make-believe. And my whole show is for entertainment purposes only. And everything I say cannot be verified. If for some reason you disagree with my disclaimer, right now is the time to get your happy ass off my channel. I don't want you to hear a thing I got to say in my parody entertainment show, and that's your final notice. Okay, let's get back to George Zimmerman. He said in an interview, a taped interview, you can type it in on the internet that, uh, you know, that this, this Trayvon Martin, uh, you know, he was walking back to his car. He wasn't chasing Trayvon. Trayvon jumped out of the bushes and said, you got a fucking problem. The news was beep, 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 editing it. I think he, you know, I don't, I don't know. I think he said, you got a fucking problem, you racist ass peck of wood. You know, uh, black people, they just think all white people are racist, especially if they're trying to catch them doing something wrong. But, uh, he said, uh, no, I don't have, George Zimmerman said, no, I, I don't have a problem. He said, you do now, you racist ass, white ass, peck of wood. And he punched him in the nose and knocked him onto the ground. And then George Zimmerman was screaming for help. And he said, you racist ass, peck of wood, quit screaming, you somber bitch, peck of wood, hockey cracker. I hate every odor of a white man. And uh, he was trying to put his hand over his mouth and his nose, and he kept screaming for help. And they asked him that on the polygraph test. Said, "Did you? Was it you that was screaming for help?" He said, "Yeah, it was me. It wasn't George. It wasn't Trayvon Martin. It was me." If a black man is calling for help, he gonna be saying, "It's gonna be completely different from help, help." He gonna be going. Man, don't put your hand on me! Don't disrespect me! Don't dis... You know, the racial slur that black people call each other. I'm going to use the word nincompoop. Don't put your hands on the nincompoop! Man, don't put your hands on the nincompoop! 
I ate liver oceans of the white man. I hate the white man. Don't put your hands on me. Don't violate me. Don't disrespect me. A, a black person just not going to call for help that way. They going to be shouting out racial slurs and stuff like that. And um, I, I, I would like anyone listening to my show to type in gang member teeth and picture. Don't type in Trayvon Martin and you'll see his picture emerges. And then another thing which you just type in Trayvon Martin and then it'll come up and then on the left side of the computer just click on images and you'll see Trayvon Martin he going like this fuck you fuck you and then he's got another picture of him holding this metal finger up and giving everybody the finger. He was a hater. He was a hater. He he wasn't a choir boy. He was a queer boy. I seen a man kissing him. I seen a picture of a man kissing him. And it's Trayvon Martin, he was 17 years old. And all these blacks are saying, it ain't no way a 17-year-old boy could, what black boy could beat a 28-year-old white man up. I, I I disagree. I believe Trayvon Martin could whoop him with one hand tied behind his back, and he'd be going, "You racist ass peck wood! I hate a peck of wood! I hate every out of a peck of wood!" And I want to tell anybody listening to my shows, if anybody has any credible evidence of Trayvon Martin using the racial slur. The, you know, that blacks call it the N-I-G-G-E-R word. I'm going to keep using the word nincompoop. If anybody has any evidence of Trayvon Martin using the nincompoop word, using the racial slur, hockey, cracker, and peck of wood, and racist, in the 60s, Martin Luther King, Megar Evers, and Malcolm X, they had a big meeting. And they said, you know, the white man named us a nincompoop to dehumanize us and a boy. And they said, well, let's name the white man a name to dehumanize the white man. And they come up with a hockey, a cracker, a peck of wood, and a racist. And uh, they, uh, you white people, y'all don't realize, you think when they call you a peck of wood, you got a big pecker and you can fuck like a... You got a woody. You you got a big pecker and you got a woody. No, it's not a compliment. It's it's an insult. It's an insult. If anybody has any credible evidence that Trayvon Martin was selling stolen gold, stolen jewelry, admitting that he was burglarizing homes, stealing tires, batteries, robbing white people, hating white people, doing anything racial. This Trayvon Martin, I believe he, you know, he he's a gang member, and uh, he got gold gang member teeth. That you know, I think he he's a very evil person, you know. And George Zimmerman has passed the polygraph test, so that you know that that I, But the White Devil, uh, there there's a police chief named Bill Lee. He wouldn't prosecute him. So they fired him. They want votes. They, they people in office. They make a lot of money every year. Listen, I got to break away for a second. I'm gonna be putting on more shows. If anybody wants to see any more of my shows about George Zimmerman, type in Rodney Dangerfield cousin and George Zimmerman. You'll see a lot of my shows about it. But I took I'm Rodney Dangerfield cousin. I don't get no respect. I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a dude. So I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com. All it is is a recording of a young girl saying, Hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? And uh, if we're alone together, I'll unzip your zipper. I can't tell you everything she said, but it got my dingling excited. And then I went and to another website called freebuysaletradeanything.com. I put a car on there and I sold it. And once you put anything you got for sale on there, it'll keep reposting and definitely tell it sells. It's free to look, free to put your car on there. Then I went into personal sex and advertised. I was looking for a young girl. I divorced my wife and a young girl come forward and I'm, I'm engaged to marry her. If anybody has any criticisms or anything you want to say about my show, 
type it underneath. That's a wrap.